Some voters can find the balloting process a bit overwhelming. So here with five helpful tips is Mark Kitchens, Senior Vice President of AARP. Good morning, Mark. Good morning. Good to be with you. Good to have you. Let's get right to tip number one. You, you say make sure you're registered and bring ID. You right. have to be registered by tomorrow? Yeah, uh, yes, by tomorrow. I mean, here's the bad news. Listen, if you're not registered by tomorrow, it's going to be too late. But there are eight states where you can still do that. I want to make sure I get this right. Let me read them for you. Okay. Idaho, Iowa, Maine, Minnesota, Montana, New Hampshire, Wisconsin, Wyoming are all states that you can do same-day registration. North Dakota, you don't have to register. You can just show up and vote. So you can. there's still time for folks in those states to actually make sure that they get in, to, to vote. So they can get to the, the voting uh location and register right on site in those states that you mentioned. Right. Tomorrow. And the thing to remember, too, on this is to bring some sort of ID just to be safe. There's only three states that, that require some uh, form of government photo identification, um, Georgia, Indiana, and Florida. But, uh, you know, you never know what's going to happen, and it's always good to have it. Better safe than sorry. Right. Tip number two, know where your polling place is and what time it closes. This is key. I mean, uh, there's a, it varies anywhere from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. For example, in Kentucky and Indiana, uh, polls close at 6 p.m. And uh, in New York and Maine, they close at 9 p.m. Go to your uh, state election board. Go to electiononline.org, which is sponsored by Pew Center. You can find out this kind of information. This is key. The last thing you want to do is, is show up and, and be told that you've gone to the wrong site. It's taken enough time out of your day already, and it's just going to delay your voting time. What if you've lost your, your voter registration card? Can you still vote? It, 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 depend, it really varies wildly by state, and the best thing to do is just to check, check right now. Don't wait on this. Don't wait until tomorrow for Election Day. Go to electiononline.org and, and make sure you have that information before you, you show up. Will the polls close at the designated time, even if there's still a long line of people waiting? It depends on the state. For example, like in Maine, uh, what they do, if you're in line, they're not going to actually kick you out or make sure that your vote doesn't count. But again, it varies by state. In some states, if you're in line in the vote uh, and the, the poll are closed, it's too late. So again, it's important you got to check this information out first. You could be in trouble. Okay, let's just mention point number three. Democrats and Republicans vote on the same day. I know there have been some automated calls telling people that they vote on different days, but election day is tomorrow for everyone. Number four, leave political gear at home. Why? If you look at Washington, D.C. and Maryland, for example, uh, it varies uh, wildly state by state. You can wear some type of political gear. As long as you're covered up, you can show up at the polls. You go across the Potomac River over in Virginia, you can't uh, be uh, within uh, 50, in some cases 50 feet, in other cases 500 feet from the polls. Here's the thing. They won't let you in if you're wearing a political t-shirt You cannot be there. So here's the thing. Uh -huh. you, uh, your, your main goal on Election Day is to make sure that your vote counts. Leave the campaign gear at home. You can, you know, hoot and holler all you want to after you vote, but make sure your vote counts first, and that's what you're mostly interested exactly. in. Exactly. Point number five, the most important one, vote. No matter what, vote. We right. remember 2000 in my home state of Florida, the election came down to... 537 votes. There are so many folks who, who really think that their vote doesn't count. And if there's one person, imagine the millions who think that as well. In 2004, the, uh, the election came down to 120,000 votes in Ohio. In 2000, it was 537 in Florida, as you mentioned. Think about the governor's race in 2004, 129 votes. Your vote counts. Mark Kitchens from the AARP, thank you. And the website was just kind of one-stop shopping again, electiononline.org. That's right.